Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Pablo and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm telling you just a little bit about the Tesla solar roof. As some of you might know, in addition to our YouTube channel, we offer creative services to different clients in a bunch of different industries. One of my clients is one of the leading solar providers in Texas, Good Faith Energy. These guys are super cool and I've been working with them for quite a while. They're actually the very first certified Tesla solar roof installer in the Texas area. They've already done a couple installations, but they actually invited me along to document the process of installing the latest solar roof. I think it's the third one in Texas. Check it out, pretty exciting. I had a really good time documenting this whole process, and I actually have plans for more videos about the Tesla solar roof, so stay tuned and hit that subscribe button below to learn more about it. The first steps are fairly simple. You find a solar provider. I highly recommend Good Faith Energy. I've been working with them for quite a while and there's some pretty good people. There's a link to Good Faith Energy's website below, so be sure to hit that. Once you get to their website, just scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will find a form, fill it out, and in no time you'll get a call from a solar consultant from Good Faith Energy and they will walk you through the beginning of the process. They use some pretty amazing 3D rendering software to not only design but also engineer the solar roof specific to your house and specific to your electrical needs. Once all the details are accounted for, Tesla will either ship the materials to you, or if you don't have storage space, they'll ship it to Good Faith Energy or whatever solar provider you use. First things first, demo day. You gotta get that old roof taken apart. They remove every single shingle, they remove every single nail from the decking material. Once your decking is completely clear of screws and all debris, they will apply a layer of peel and stick felt paper, which is actually gonna work as your insulation and your waterproofing. They do two layers to verify that it's not gonna have any leaks, it's gonna be tightened up and buttoned up to your spec. They then go around the perimeter of the roof and they apply a metal edging material specific to the solar roof. This is gonna make it to where everything works and fits together perfectly. Then they're gonna move on to the glass installation. That's right, the Tesla solar roof is made out of glass. Pretty wild, I know. This isn't just any glass though, it's a very durable glass. It's actually more than three times stronger than standard roof tiles. There are two types of glass used on the solar roof. There are the producing tiles and the non-producing tiles. The non-producing tiles are much easier to work with since they don't really require electrical connections. This is typically where they're gonna begin. These tiles will be applied to the north facing roof and anywhere where solar cells are not needed. The producing tiles, on the other hand, face the south, sometimes the west and east facing surfaces. You only need enough producing tiles to cover your electrical needs. You're actually gonna find out what your electrical needs are at your initial consultation when they give you a call. Once the glass tiles are all in place, the producing tiles are gonna be connected. They'll move on to the final details of the roof, such as the trim, the gutters, the ridges, and the valleys. These last details all require metal fabrication and it's gonna give the product a nice, sleek finish. Once the installation is all polished up on top of the roof, they're gonna commission the inverter, they're gonna commission the power walls if you've got any power walls. Power walls are optional and they offer quite a bit of value in my opinion, but we'll actually get more into power walls in a future video, so stay tuned for that and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you wanna hear more about power walls and how they work with the Tesla solar roof. Now that everything's in place, it's time to boot up your system and enjoy the beauty of clean energy. If you have any questions about the Tesla solar roof or if there's a topic that I didn't touch up on and you wanna see it in a future video, please be sure to leave a comment below. We are definitely gonna be making more videos about the Tesla solar roof. We previously mentioned a Cybertruck giveaway. That's still gonna happen, but it has unfortunately been delayed due to manufacturing problems. So the latest I heard is it's actually not gonna be ready until May. We're giving away the limited edition RC Cybertruck made by Hot Wheels. These things are extremely limited. They don't even sell anymore. They sold for, I think, like a week or so, and they sold out. They said they're not gonna produce anymore, so it's very limited. I got a couple, one for myself and one to give away to you guys. All you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel, take a screenshot of your subscribe, and send it to us on Instagram in a DM. We will be announcing the winner of the giveaway as soon as the Cybertruck arrives. So the roof in this video actually belongs to Mo Abdallah. He's one of the co-owners and the founder of Good Faith Energy, and he's actually been a good friend of mine since high school, believe it or not. If you wanna learn more about the Tesla solar roof, I actually produced a series of videos for Mo and Good Faith Energy, so go check out the links below. And if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like button below. We really appreciate it, and if you aren't already subscribed, please be sure to do that as well. If you're interested in a Tesla solar roof, hit the link below to the Good Faith Energy website, ask for Mo, and let him know that Pablo sent you. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy New Year to all of you guys, and I really hope that 2021 is better than last year. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.